Alright guys, welcome back. So we have done a few tweaks to make our you know simulation looks more consistent on those trails. Now it's time to go ahead and do some reshaping of our simulation. Uh, for now what we're having is just a very straight and you know generic trail here. It looks super flat now i'm not gonna say this is bad you know based on what kind of situation you want to simulate like if it's a perfect day and there's no wind and everything's kind of like even then that's probably good right that's probably what you want uh, but if you want to have like a more turbulent day a windy day like there's a lot of things happening in the air uh, you probably want to break this up a little bit more so let's talk about how we can do that we actually have done this in the smoke tutorial already so this is basically a review of what we have done All right so when you are doing this kind of things uh one of the very important aspects is not just the shape you're getting but also how fast they're changing so you almost always wanted to now use actually the play blast to actually f take a look at you know the variations you're getting time wise like are they moving too fast or too slow those variations we have a turbulence or a disturbance here already and it's doing something right uh, but let's move on to actually add a disturbance uh, sorry a turbulence here for bigger variations so i'm gonna drop down a guess this actually turbulence right guess turbulence and drag that to the merge and let's take a look at the visualized turbulence so we can see what it's doing as you can see now it's trying to add some velocity variations to vary our simulation again let's actually go ahead and play blast it now first thing i do notice that it's probably not doing enough job right we're not seeing a lot of disturbance so let's take a look at that uh, i believe that's because of the scale it's only like 15 percent of this uh you know the strength so i'm going to change that to one just to see the full effect of the disturbance i should see the color changes here right and because more warm the warmer the color is or the hotter uh, the color is the stronger the strength will be so i'm going to try again using play blast right, let's take a look now I'm expecting to see them to change shape down the way not becoming uh, not as what we're having before which is really linear line now you can see they're bending when they're spreading out right it's really breaking up our shape now uh, so these servants can help us to break up the shape and give them more life down the way now if you look at it, I do feel that they're probably changing too fast. I like the shape I'm getting, but they are changing maybe too fast. Uh, uh, it's almost like, you know, it's kind of like the trail of some kind of like rocket or things like that. It's really having a lot of energy inside of these guys. Uh, I don't want that. So uh, let me stop this. As you can see, they're breaking up. Uh, so I'm gonna actually change that so first of all I don't want them to be changing too fast now you can either change the time scale right here on the disturbance here or you can also change the pulse length uh, as you can see here the documentation for it is how fast the noise moves right higher value will result in slower movement so instead of 5 I'm gonna change that to 3 so that is 6 times slower now uh, let's take a look at the result so I expect I'm expecting to see the same kind of like strings of turbulence but they're just not really turbulence in that fast as you can see they're not bending that fast anymore but they're still bending down the way okay so it's your choice to choose you know how strong and how fast they are when they're moving so i'm thinking maybe just 
Hmm, I guess it's okay, right? Maybe. So now, when you're looking at these things, you want to actually capture the first feel that you have when you're looking at these guys. The, those feels are actually those feelings you have. Like maybe this is too fast. Maybe this is too much of a movement. The first feeling you have about it is probably accurate. Uh, don't try to look at many times. The more you look at it, the lesser you will see the problem. So, the first instinct is very important. So I do feel they are probably wavering too much. Uh, so I'm going to say, how about lesser strengths? Uh, so maybe scale could be smaller. Uh, stop the simulation and I'm going to change that value back to maybe 0.6 instead of 1. Uh, that's going to give me lesser strengths when they're <coughs> when they're being turbulenced. Okay. Yeah, feels better. Cool. So a lot of things we can do here to break those up. Now when I look at it, I think maybe it's a little weak now. Maybe just a little bit more, a little bit more to you know make these lines not like a straight arc. <clears throat> so maybe stop the simulation now. And I'm gonna tell it to become point eight. Okay. All right, so that's the disturbance. I'm gonna go back and add just one more thing. Guess shredding. Now this shredding will give me some fun lines or uh, streaks down the way. And when I oops, let let me stop this guy now. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the visualization of the turbulence and back to the shredding. I'm gonna turn on the visualization of that. And let's take a look. Uh, so for now, I'm not really seeing anything, any visualization. Now that's gonna be a problem. That means it's not really doing anything. So let's take a look at why. Underneath the bandings, you can see it's using the temperature field as the base for the gradient, which is the fall off to determine uh, where to start shredding the uh, smoke. So we don't have temperature temperature field, so it's not really doing anything we can use our density instead okay now when I do that you can already see some visualization shows up right that's a good sign so that means we're doing something now and let's go back to the shred settings and there are a few settings here that you can you can change first of all the strings right I'm gonna go for full strings uh, temperature threshold which determines at which density, because we're using density as temperature, so at which density it starts to uh, change from uh, shredding to, or from stretching to squashing. Uh, the, high, uh, the value here is 0.75, so any density that is smaller than 0.75 are gonna be stretched, as you can see here. Uh, through this, uh, so values lower than this will be stretched, right? Values lower than this will be stretched. Uh, so any value that is smaller than that will be stretched. Now I need to know my density. Like I kind of wanted to know what density it is right here. I, I I have to have a good idea of the value here so I can really tell it what value is, uh, you know, preferred. So that's going to be underneath smoke object and go to the density tab underneath visualization and I'm gonna actually uh, turn on the remap smoke uh, it's using infrared and as you can see all the red colors here are actually one or beyond one so density as one is actually the majority or the majority of those uh, smokes their density is bigger than one so only a few of these guys are actually lower than one that means only a few of those guys are actually being stretched the primary of those things here depending on this color at uh, this uh, value here any value smaller than this will be stretched bigger than this will be squashed so those red ones are beyond one so they're all being squashed 
and that's not a, what what I want. I, what I want is actually I want a lot of things being actually stretched to create those uh, beautiful uh, streaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually take a look at the remapping here, uh, the gradients. I'm gonna change that to two and take a look. Now you can see those are the ones, the red ones again are the ones that is denser or equal to the two density. So I'm gonna change that to three and take a look. Okay, maybe four. We can still see some red color even we're on density. Our density is four, so I'm I'm gonna say the range is uh, roughly from zero to four, right? So I'm gonna actually uh, turn that off now. I don't really need to see it. So I know that the density is, uh, you know, the majority is around two or three. Four is actually very rare but I can go here and tell it maybe we're gonna use three instead so the majority of these guys again will be actually stretched uh, let me go back and take a look now we should be able to see more fine lines being stretched out uh, as you can see we have a lot of lines now and of course, if you wanted to see more of those clean lines, you need to crank up our simulation. As you can see, those very cool lines here. You actually wanted to lower down the division size just to see more. To see more, right? So I'm going to change that to 0 0.03 instead of 0 0.05. That's going to give me more detail to represent those very detailed uh, shredding or streaks. So I'm gonna play this again, or let's go actually play blast it. All right, so that's gonna be uh, the shredding part. Of course, you can try to look through the documentation of you know other things you can do with it. But oftentimes, I'm just gonna focus on the ones I want, right? The things I really want, like I just want to have a little bit of turbulence to break the shape up. Want to feel shredding to have those very fine-tuned lines to just get some cool results. And if I don't need anything else, I will not venture more up there because, you know, if you really don't really need other things then why do you need to tweak that much uh, so let's see this is actually okay I guess I probably will go back and turn the turbulence back to one just to see more turbulence feels like they're pretty generic for now but this is probably okay too because they're turbulence in anyways down the way not sure how eventually they're gonna ends up with, but they're definitely breaking up down the way. Yeah, they're not straight anymore. This one is pretty straight, but others are actually getting disturbed. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop the tutorial here now. Um, I leave the rest for you to fine tune, right? If you wanted to have more turbulence or not, it's all based on you and your uh, you know artistic approach now so all right that's gonna be it for this tutorial and in the next one we're gonna go ahead and see uh, if there are anything else we can do uh, or maybe we can start applying or trying to applying materials and do some render right okay thanks for watching see you next